Okay, how to make a five gallon bucket mice trap. Super simple, super easy, and very effective. All the items you need is a five gallon bucket, a clothes hanger, a metal clothes hanger, or a good thick wire, either or. Oh, a drill with a drill bit, a pair of pliers, some peanut butter, and a peanut butter jar or something else that you could find that would work. So I just get my five gallon bucket and I drill a hole near the top. I already drilled it, so imagine straight across another one, which is there. And that's where your wire is gonna go across. And here's what I got. I cut this wire off the bottom of a clothes hanger. I put a bend in one side. And you'll see why here. I stick it through. Not to the other side quite yet. Now here's my spinning system that's going to spin on the wire that the mice are going to fall in. Okay, drill a hole in the center. Go for the dead center. Just eyeball it. Just like that, same on the other side. Just like that, hole, hole. Now, the easiest way I found to do this is take off your lid, thread this through with the first hole, then take your lid and with the hole and go through it there, and then screw your lid back on. Okay, now finish putting your wire through the other hole in the bucket and you're cre creating an axle. Now, grab my pliers. With your pliers, you'll bend that wire so it won't just slide through like that. Now both wires are bent, it won't slide through. Now you want it to spin very freely, just like that. You see that? Can't even stop it. It's like a, a wheel. That's what the mice are going to fall on. Now I'll take my peanut butter, my, my lure, and I'll spread it in a line down the middle of the deal. Just like so. You want it spread pretty evenly so, um, so it still spins. You want it free spinning as best you can. And the peanut butter is what is going to attract the, the nuisance mice. Now this is in my garage here where I keep all my chicken food my dog food, so there's a lot, and it's getting winter time. So I've been noticing a lot of mice. I need to get some cats. You want the same thickness. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. And you want it to spin real easily. Oh, that's gonna do it. They don't got a chance. Okay. There you go, and as you see, there's no water in the bottom. If you want to kill them, you put water. Or if you want to safely release them later, you don't put no water. They'll just fall and get stuck there. Okay. Watch out, Goof. See, he's after mice. Look at this. Look at all this mice. Goofy, watch out. Look at all this mice poop. I got me some mice. And right here is where I keep my food. Chicken food, dog food. So you can see they got it pretty good here. Can't have that mice in my garage like that. That poop, that ain't no good. That ain't good for you. Mice poop. I've been using these traps. Where are they at? Let me see another one. I've been using these traps, but they ain't been doing it. They, ain't, they just eat the stuff off them. Normal clamping traps don't work. So I'm gonna do this one, and let's see if it works. Okay, so that's ready to go, except Set, you put that in the center. Now let me get some ramps. I see a mouse right now. That's going to get them. Let me get some ramps so they can get up to it. 
So I got my ramps, it's just a two by four, and it doesn't have to have that 45 on it, that's just by funniness. So you put it up there, you don't want it falling, that's just what they're gonna use to walk up. Put one on one side, and you put one on the other side, just like that. Okay. So the theory is, the theory is, the mice walk up the ramp, try to go for this, they get on it for the peanut butter, then it bends on an axle like that and they fall in the bucket. The other mice traps haven't been working, let's see if that one does. Okay, I'll show you guys the results. Well it's the next day. And let's see who couldn't resist the peanut butter. There he is. There he is. Yeah, and there ain't no water in it, so I can release him somewhere far, far away or something like that. I got you, you little bugger. And that's it. That's how to do a homemade mouse trap with a five gallon bucket, just using stuff around your house. Easy deal. Oh, and the cool thing about this trap is, instead of the other ones like that, instead of the traps like that, the clampers, they, um, they can catch and catch and catch and catch without having to be reset. Just fill up the bucket. That's it. Five gallon mouse trap. Bada bing.